Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Shadows of the Damned. It's Peyton Beatty here, and in the last part, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We got to this final part of the side-scroller, but kept failing so much, I was just like, screw it, and uh, we're going to start this over from scratch, which is uh, what I did right now. We're back at the beginning here, and there's another one. Definitely stay back, keep shooting at all times, like always. Pick up these white gems whenever you can. But be careful of those assholes jumping out of the bushes like that, because they will do that to you a lot and murder you, because this game's kind of cheap like that in these parts. There's another white gem. That one's pretty easy to get. Most of these white gems, with the except, the only hard ones to get are these ones near darkness, just because these guys get in your way and cause problems, especially when there's multiple darkness like this. This, I'd say, just ignore the enemies, get the white gems, and get rid of darkness. That's your only goals here. If you can get rid of the, if you can shoot the guys, go for it, but I would not waste your time. They're kind of uh, just an annoying hassle. And you should definitely have 12 when you get to this first checkpoint. That means you're doing it right. That means you've gotten all of them. And then, got to go forward here, get the health, and enter into the, one of the most annoying parts of this level. The clouds. And be careful of her floating up and down in these cloud parts. She can hurt you and take your health. And it's really stupid and annoying, and these clouds suck. Especially if you get stuck on a cloud and you hit the back wall, it will kill you. That's happened to me. Last time, in fact. It's very annoying. Avoid it at all costs. They're stupid. But anyways, so you're going to definitely want to, like last time, stay low when at all possible. Go in the middle here just because you got to get these, and it's impossible to go down. Right here, go down. Because you want to be safe. And you actually can go down here. I always forget that you can, but you definitely want to. It's a lot. Avoid that asshole, because that asshole kind of comes out of nowhere. Stay down here. It's a lot easier than having to go all the way up and then all the way back down. Especially because when you get to this part, that guy will hit you most times. Unless you're prepared. You can go up there, which I actually probably would have recommend over what I did. But I went down there, got health. And when you get to that point, that's how many white gems you want to have. If you have 20, you're doing it right. Then these two are going to pop up. Grab them real quick. Shoot this bottom guy. You can choose either one. I prefer the top guy because I prefer the teeth are over the shotgun in these levels. Because I, like, I don't like how the shotgun works in these levels. It's arcing and it's kind of annoying. I love the teeth though. Teeth are murders everything. And it's just like, death upon all who face me. And it's awesome. Did I mention it's awesome? Because I think it's awesome. Reach forward, grab these, and then get back as soon as you can. And then just start unloading with your uh, shotgun here. Making sure to hit everything you can and avoid getting hit yourself. Yeah, that part sucks because it's uh, really hard to avoid getting hit there if you're going to pick up the uh, shotgun. And get all the white gems, which you should be trying to do because it's a good idea. Because you can get another red gem. And a red gem is always helpful. This last guy, watch out because people will jump up behind you. There's nothing you can do about them. Pick up that health. Woohoo! Well, don't get hit by that guy. Don't be stupid like I was. I'm just getting murdered left and right here. Taking damage like nobody's business. This part, shoot that guy as fast as you can and go stand where he is. That's probably the best strategy. I don't do it right here because I'm an idiot. But, yeah, because they're going to start raining down enemies on you, and it's annoying and a hassle. And I took a, I think I took some damage there. Try and grab all three of those at once. Don't miss like I did, because then you'll do this like I did. I missed that one white gem. And I didn't realize it, so I was like, I got this. And then I ran forward like an idiot and got killed. Nope, wait. Nope, yeah, then I got killed. But, yeah. It was a good thing I got killed there, though, because I would have missed that white gem and not gotten the red gem, which would have sucked. But anyways, you're back at this part, which sucks, but eh, whatever. And then just get the bottom one. I usually like shooting them both. You really don't have to. I just like to, just because there's nothing else to do at the time. And just get your teether and just sit here and unload into every enemy that pops up. And I don't get right here. I'm clearly shooting that guy in the ankle, but whatever, that doesn't matter. I kill him eventually. And I've killed all the enemies. I, d I try and stay back as long as I can to avoid running into people. But eventually you pick it up. 
start shooting. Trying, it's really annoying trying to aim with this thing because it goes in an arc and it's not logical. I don't know how I did that, but I managed to hit all of them without taking a hit there. That was awesome. But anyways, just keep spamming on the attack here. This is a, another one of those times where it's you have infinite ammo, might as well use it. And kill this last guy. Definitely kill him because he gives you health. And that is a very good thing because health instantly heals you in these parts. And sit back. Don't be an idiot like I was last time and run forward and get my ass kicked. And then once this guy shows up, drop down in front of him, blast him, go stand where he is, and aim for that middle cliff. That's the best strategy, right there where I keep hitting. Because that way it will kill all the enemies as soon as they spawn. And they just back up whenever they get too close and shoot them. And then do that. I'm totally failing there. I survived though, thank god. And then shoot this darkness. Preferably before that asshole shows up, because he's annoying. You gotta watch out for the enemies here. Because they're gonna do that and just get in your way. This you gotta be careful though, because there is white gems in here and that in this one, white gems are more important than the health. Yes, the health is nice, but you don't really have to take care worry about it too much. Like right there, I managed to get all of them. At this point, you definitely want to have that many white gems. If you have 39 right now, you're doing good. Because that means you should be able to get them all. Hopefully. But anyways, go forward. Do this last little bit. If you listen, the music stops. Everything's getting dramatic. Uh-oh. And now! Oh. Giant creepy robot! Holy crap! Time to fight Justine. Finally, one of the first enemies, one of the first boss enemies you run into this game, you don't end up fighting her until this very end. It's crazy. But anyways, you're just going to sit back at the very back corner like I am here and just keep unloading into her face. It's The hitboxes on those red parts are really weird. You have to keep moving up and down to find the sweet spot, but she keeps moving. So basically, as far as you're all, the, as long as you're all the way back to the back of the screen, you should be fine and not have to worry about getting hit by the blue, the green globs that drop down on you. You're just going to keep going up and down. See, like right there, I'm clearly hitting it, but it's not getting the hit markers for some reason. And then once you do that, her mask is going to start glowing, and that's an indication that you want to shoot it with your light shot, like I'm doing right now. And this part can kind of take a while, just because you can only shoot the light shot one at a time, and it's annoyingly slow. But as you see, the more times you hit her, the more of the green goo will disappear from her mask. Which means she's getting weaker, and you can finish her off. And just keep doing this again and again, and she should be running out of her mask here soon and once she's breaking off just start shooting her normally and shoot her in the face and now it's on to the well I guess you could call the third phase of this fight I don't know I guess it'll be more second but anyways once she comes up to that there is no way to avoid being grabbed by that hand no matter where you are on the screen she will grab you that I'm aware of but you're just gonna during this part you actually can be hit by those green things so you have to be careful the ones she shoots at you from her arm and the ones that drop on you from a directly above otherwise they're not gonna hit you when she's flailing like that there's kinda not much you can do just shoot and try and hit anything you can including her face but at this as when you get up to the top of the stage like this it's kinda lame cause you cannot it's really hard to protect yourself from above unless you're constantly doing it but then do that. Wait. That's why you should definitely wait to grab that health. Just in case you do get hurt when you're doing that. And look at my gun. This is weird. It was all glitchy. I have no idea. I haven't had that happen before. Another crazy thing. And she's going to run at me again already. This time I tried going down to see if that would change anything. But it doesn't. She's just going to keep doing the same thing to you. And unfortunately you just got to shoot her face whenever possible. Take out all the green stuff that you can whenever you... She's shooting at you like that. 
It's kind of just—it's a very repetitive fight, and it can take a very long time if you don't know what you're doing. If you aren't very good at it, even when you are, it still can take quite a long time because there's not a whole lot you can do. Just sit here and just shoot her a lot over and over again. That's pretty much all I can say right now. There's really not a whole lot to say besides just shoot, shoot, shoot some more. She's gonna throw you back, ring you like a bell. Once you get this, this is the one time I actually would recommend running out and running it forward because the way it shoots you have to angle it up so you can get like right there just dodge your attacks but this attack is a lot more powerful and see that's all it took and for some reason she's yelling like a monkey and her body's falling apart oh god I killed that monkey bitch I don't know why she's yelling a monkey I never really understood that but I don't care because I beat her finally whoo that tasted funny and these last nine red White gems will pop up. You you will always get them no matter what. And then the red gem and Justine will fall. Haha. <laughs> Bitch is dead. I think I found a banging underground shortcut. So we got some white gems, some red gems, and some blue gems. Everything's good. And with that, we got the final upgrade in the game, the Skull Blaster, which is a very useless upgrade, actually. It's only used for some story-based parts, but as an attack, it's not very good. But anyways, we finally beat Justine. One of the first enemies you run into the game, don't beat her until the end of the game. It's crazy, but you know what? It's okay. But we finally beat Act 4. Took only forever. Now we're on to Act 5, 12 Feet Under, the beginning of the Castle of Hassel. Finally, you have no idea how glad I am to finally be on this, because this last part is very, it's pretty fun, very difficult, but very fun. And the game's almost over, and quite frankly, as much as I love this game, I'm getting a little sick of it. It's been fun. Oh, don't doubt that. It's been a lot of fun. This game will always be fun. Because it's Suda 51, and Suda 51 is awesome. And holy crap, look at all those white gems we got. And a red gem. Suck it. Gonna finish the uh, reload speed. Well, not finish, but. Nah. This should take us right under the castle walls. Choose your skull, G. Yeah. You were, Johnson. My numb skull. You led us right into the catacombs. Ah, oh, damn it. But now that we are in the catacombs, I think we're going to call this an episode. So, this is Peyton Beatty signing out and saying, have a great day, guys. It's been a fun one.